Turn on your computer, and you will see the Grub Bootloader screen. Here, you can choose between the Windows and Linux operating systems. By default, the Linux operating system will be selected, so go ahead and boot into it. Open the Gparted utility. The utility will show you the disk layout, file system type, mount points, and used or unused size, etc. Here our focus is to delete the Windows partitions. Look out for partitions with FAT32 and NTFS as the file system type. I have four Windows partitions. Here I will remove all the partitions except the boot partition. To delete a Windows partition, right-click on the partition and click Delete. Repeat the same step for deleting all the Windows partitions except the boot partition. I repeat do not delete boot partition. The Gparted utility will keep a record of the delete operation but won't apply it to the disk just yet. You should notice a pending operation message at the bottom of the Gparted utility. To proceed with partition deletion and write the changes to the disk, click the tick icon from the menu bar. You will be prompted with a confirmation message to apply the changes. Click Apply. Now you will have some unallocated space that can be used to expand existing Linux partitions or create new Linux partitions. To create a new partition from the unallocated space, right-click on Unallocated Partition and click New. A window will pop up, asking you to input partition details such as size and file system type. You can enter the size in MB or use the slider to adjust it. Once you've entered all the required information, click on Add. If you wish to resize an existing partition, right-click on the existing partition and click Resize slash Move option. After clicking on the partition you wish to resize, a window will appear, asking you to enter the desired size in MB. Once you've entered the size, click on Resize slash Move to proceed with the operation. To make the changes take effect, simply click on the tick icon located in the menu bar. This action will write the pending changes to the disk and apply your modifications successfully. If you reboot the machine, you will still see the Windows boot loader entry in the Grub menu. If you try to enter into Windows, you will encounter with the following error message. The reason for this is that we haven't removed the Microsoft boot loader entry. To resolve this, manual cleaning is required. Make sure you logged in to your Linux OS. Open the terminal and execute the OS Prober command to scan for available operating systems. As shown in the screen, the Windows bootloader is detected during this process. To delete this, first, navigate to the boot EFI directory using this command. You can verify using ls command if all the boot files are saved under this directory. Delete the Microsoft directory along with all Windows-related files by executing the following command.
Execute the following command to reload the grub configurations, which internally utilizes the OS Prober command to detect operating systems. By running this command, the grub bootloader will be updated with the latest configurations. From the screen, you can see that no entries for the Windows operating system are found, indicating that it has been successfully removed from the boot menu. Upon restart, you will no longer see the Windows bootloader entry in the grub boot menu. The Windows operating system has been successfully removed from the boot menu.